Well, the significance of this manuscript, which I have here in front of me, is that it's, it's the earliest version of A Clockwork Orange, one of the most famous novels of the 20th century, or infamous, depending on how you look at it. Uh, these are the pages. Uh, these very pages are the ones that um, Burgess had in his typewriter. He pulled them out. He sweated over them. He smoked over them. He probably drank over them. And he doodled on them. There's drawings here. Uh, there's annotations from his publisher. Uh, there's a very famous uh, note here from Burgess at the end of the second last chapter. Should we end here, an optional epilogue follows. So that final optional chapter was included in the British edition and it was not included in the American edition. We have manuscripts of several other early works by Anthony Burgess uh, inside Mr. Enderby, for example, but many others. We have examples of his musical compositions. A lot of people don't know that uh, Burgess composed music, uh, orchestral music. In fact, there's even uh, some music that he composed in A Clockwork Orange. We also have some very interesting letters. The, the ones that I like the most are ones that Burgess wrote to his wife's niece in the late 50s and early 60s. And in those uh, letters, Burgess is pretending to be a cat or a dog, depending on the letter. And uh, so they're very interesting, and the style of them is quite similar to A Clockwork Orange. It's, it's the closest you can get to that creative genius. It makes it uh, a very uh, significant document in our collection.